GTV. We're here in Amsterdam with Nintendo. They're presenting a new Nintendo Switch with all the accessories. And we're going to tell you all about this new device. This is it. This is the new hardware. This is the Nintendo Switch. When it's docked in its cradle, it will give you full HD gaming on your television set. But the real, real wonders happen when you undock it, because it then delivers gaming on a very big 720p screen, which you can just take in your hand. The controllers on the side can be detached, and you can split them up with a friend. So right there on that 720p screen, you can already play multiplayer games. You don't even have to buy a second controller. The two controller halves can also be put together to form a bigger controller, or you can just uh, spend some money on buying the Switch Pro controller, which is a controller which is uh, a lot bigger than um, than the small ones and is really made for European hands, if you ask me. One of the biggest titles for the Nintendo Switch at launch will without a doubt be Zelda Breath of the Wild. The game will also arrive on the Wii U. Um, that's the, actually uh, the demo that we've been playing uh, on the Wii U at Gamescom last year. Only now at the Switch event it has been adapted to the Switch. The graphics look slightly more crisp but it's really focused at all the Switch hardware. And it, of course trying to make maximum use of it. The second big title for the Nintendo Switch will, without a doubt, be Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Never has there been a Mario Kart release so close on a console release. And um, let's be honest, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe probably means that they're still working on Mario Kart on the, on the next Mario Kart for uh, the home console. And this is pretty much a satisfier uh, to keep us happy, to keep us racing until that time. Um, nevertheless, I'm very happy with it because I see new tracks, I see new characters, I see new uh, power-ups, I see a whole lot of fun being added, uh, added to the original game. So it's definitely one of the titles that I will be uh, buying right away when the console launches. For those that really love shooter games and want to have a shooter game that's family friendly, uh, Nintendo will be coming with Splat Splatoon 2. Splatoon 2 is the follow up to the successful shooting game on the Wii U. Uh, it's all about painting the world. Um, you can turn yourself into a squid. Um, uh, th there's really all <laughs> sorts of wicked things going on. It has new characters, new weapons, new level designs. Um, it's really an, a good follow-up to the original and definitely one of the games uh, to be on my pick list when the Nintendo Switch arrives in stores. The biggest surprise of the day for me was Snipper Clips. Uh, when I saw the screenshots at first I was like, nah, I'm not sure this will be taking off. Uh, but then again I started playing at the event and yes, it's a real Nintendo game. And so yes, it's a real lot of fun. Um, there are puzzles which can be difficult or easy uh, just depending on uh, how easy you adapt to the gameplay uh, nevertheless snipper clips is one of the games to watch and probably one of the games you should really get if you like puzzling um, and then last but not least uh, you can um, we, we can ask ourselves the question where is mario of course there has been an announcement for a new mario game where mario is being put in this in in, in a real city um, and yes we had to do with uh, a trailer which was shown at the big screen mario was not playable during the nintendo switch event but the trailer did show us a lot about the gameplay and did make us very curious so this is it, this is the Nintendo Switch, the new console uh, that will definitely bring a whole lot uh, of fun to your living room.